Molly Vilver, and I'm an artist, a painter, and I guess in the last, since one year ago, I've been making large-scale outdoor paintings for rooftops, for our satellites. So the idea is that I make the painting and it ends up on the Google Earth satellite. I think in some ways these large outdoor paintings are, are in between performance. They're not performative because they're, um, it's funny, they're like in, they're not in private spaces, but they're not in public spaces either. So I found this way to like work outside of the studio and make work for the public once they're on Google Earth or even I've noticed in the last year they're out on blogs and everything. They're sort of in the public realm and all the spaces that I've painted so far, even if they're not public spaces, like you can always have keys to all the rooftops and you can always go and see them. My palette was really just whatever was going out into the trash and that was really not as much about trash as it was about like how do I disable my inclination, like how do I make a palette that's accidental. When I addressed the problems that I had in my work, I realized that I was really interested in architecture, like geometric shapes and natural forms. One way to get natural forms and also to disable my ability to make a certain set of choices is to just use paint, no tool, no paintbrushes, just the paint and pouring and my breath and gravity, you know, maybe sticking the paintings together and pulling them apart. Any technique I could think of that involved movement instead of tools. This edition that I made for Art We Love is seven daily practice paintings, and they're from a larger body of work that was 151 daily practice paintings, and they were made over a period of three months in March of 2009. So every day I made at least one painting. Some days there were five, some days there were three, but the idea was that every single day for three months I would make at least one painting.